with Chief Meteorologist Paul Hagen, and whoo, it was a windy one today. Yeah, breezy, cool out there today, but if you're ready for some warmer temperatures, mm. just hang on till tomorrow okay. with even warmer weather in store, even around the bay and along the coast as we head towards the middle of the week. One thing that's not going to change, the dry weather today. We've been tracking that fog along the coast throughout the day. That's going to spread out by early tomorrow morning, but it's not going to last too long. The storm track is going to be staying to the north of the Bay Area for the next several days. We're going to be tracking a number of storm systems still making their way towards the Pacific Northwest, but all being pushed away from us by a building area of high pressure in the upper levels of the atmosphere. And as that gets a little bit closer to us, it presses down on us, and as the air at ground level gets compressed, it warms up, and so inland temperatures are going to be warming up, and the dry weather is going to continue. This is far from surprising that we have a completely dry forecast through the weekend now that we're into the middle of May, but we're not going to completely close the door on the possibility of maybe a couple of stray showers sneaking down towards the Bay Area until we round the corner from May into June. Maybe once we get past the next several days, we might see another storm system deciding to pay us a visit. But without any rain in the forecast and with warmer temperatures in the forecast, the pollen count is going to be climbing once again. One more day in the medium category tomorrow, and then we're medium high for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. It's still oak, mulberry, and grass pollen. And of course, the grass pollen as we head into summer certainly isn't going to go anywhere. Looking outside, there is that fog just surrounding Sutro Tower. Temperature only 57 degrees in San Francisco, barely above 60 in Oakland, and it's breezy out there. And that onshore wind has definitely pushed the cooler air into the inland valley. 63 in Livermore, 67 degrees right now in San Jose. In Concord and Santa Rosa did manage to climb up into the low to mid 70s. You're more likely to be that far into the 80s tomorrow. If you're heading out to the A's game for the first game in their series against the Twins, temperature at game time is going to be 60 degrees, but it's going to be breezy, and those temperatures are going to drop down to the mid-50s by the end of the game. So make sure you layer up appropriately. We're going to be tracking similar conditions tomorrow, even just a few degrees warmer. That onshore breeze, though, is going to kick in again later on tomorrow. Right now, it's pretty strong. 24-mile-an-hour sustained winds at SFO and at Palo Alto, 25 miles an hour for Fairfield. Most of the sustained winds inland in the 15 to 20-mile-an-hour range. The winds won't be as strong initially tomorrow, which gives us a little more time to warm up. But then once that breeze does kick in, we're going to be seeing our temperatures drop off by later in the afternoon. Fog is going to spread into the inland valleys by early tomorrow morning, especially the Tri-Valley and the Santa Clara Valley. But watch how quickly it dissipates. It's just gone by 9 o'clock in the morning. We will see plenty of sunshine for the rest of the day, which is part of why our temperatures are going to warm up from a near normal start. A mix of mid to upper 40s and some low 50s on the map by early Tuesday morning. Temperatures around the bay should return to near average levels in the afternoon. Three or four degrees above normal farther inland. So into the upper 70s in San Jose, into the low 80s in Concord. Mid 60s in San Francisco, mid 50s along the coast where the onshore breeze again is going to be determining how much your temperatures don't warm up into the upper 70s for the Santa Clara Valley, 77 San Jose, 80 degrees though around Morgan Hill, upper 70s in the Tri Valley, low 80s around Concord with the warm spots east of Mount Diablo reaching up into the mid to upper 80s already tomorrow. Mid 60s in the city, low 70s in Oakland again by early afternoon, but once the onshore breeze strengthens, pushes that cool air across the bay, you're going to drop off pretty quickly during the late afternoon and evening hours. Low to mid 80s for most of the North Bay with temperatures farther north, also reaching up into the middle portion of the 80s, except Lakeport falling just one degree short of 80. The warmest day of the seven-day forecast is going to be Wednesday with highs reaching up to just above 70 in San Francisco, upper 70s for Oakland and mid 80s for San Jose. Similar territory by Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Just some minor little ups and downs to the temperature trend. The warmest temperatures Wednesday are going to be achieved inland in the East Bay and in the North Bay, upper 80s to around 90 degrees. And while temperatures will be toasty through the weekend and into early next week, we're not talking about record-setting temperatures. Just pleasantly warm with plenty of sunshine as we head into the next weekend. Never too early to look ahead to the weekend.